back right now. So if you're heading out, I would bring a fleece or something. I'm chilly. My question is, where's the hat and gloves? <laughs> Can I tell you, I actually brought my hat to the station the other day because I knew it would be so cold in here because we always have the air condition on like extra freezer version. So I was wearing my winter hat the other day here. It, it's either that or, you know, we have to shed some clothes. <laughs> because it's, I, I'm hot with the, with the tides and stuff. You know what? You're going to like the weekend forecast okay, a little bit better. How about 83, Lisa? Yes. That sounds more. How about 93? No 90s, no 90s. We're not going to be that high. Sun gives way to clouds Saturday, and I think that's going to be the better of the two weekend days. Let's briefly go over that weekend. Uh, could turn wet towards Saturday night with showers and thunderstorms, and I say it's the better because on Sunday, just equally as warm, pretty close to the normal high of 82. There'll be more humidity, more clouds, and likely some showers and thunderstorms tapering some during the afternoon. Today is rain-free. It is cool. I would recommend a jacket this morning, especially up at the Adirondacks where it's in the 40s. About 60 here. I'll take it. I'll be out in t-shirt and shorts later this afternoon. I don't know about you. Upper 70s, low humidity. This high pressure is going to be with us. This front gives us our next chance for precipitation. It'll give us some high thin clouds for today. And if you're watching us east of Lake Ontario, let's talk about northern Oswego County, Lewis County, northern Herkimer and Jefferson County. Tonight, there'll be some passing scattered showers possible at times, especially midnight and thereafter. But for the rest of us, probably not until the cold front comes on through tomorrow. And there's not going to be much with that either. So here's our future cast. I'm calling for a dry day today. Beautiful sunshine to start some patchy valley fog, crisp and cool, according to some. Uh, very comfortable others. Nice low humidity. There'll be a breeze at 5 to 20 miles per hour out of the northwest this afternoon. We'll find temperatures making the upper 70s. Still below average a couple of degrees. Break from the uh, air conditioning. And more of the same tonight. Very comfortable. Partly cloudy. Now here's that chance for a shower or two. When you get up east of Lake Ontario, far north, northeast of Syracuse, that comes in tomorrow morning with a chance for a shower. Isolated shower tomorrow. As we go into the evening, those start to move away. We'll actually clear on out, setting us up for a nice day on Saturday as well. But today, I think we've got it all here. One of the best locations in the nation. The pick day on my seven day with low humidity breeze in 78. Tomorrow, isolated showers, uh, mostly dry. 83 on Saturday, the warmth, the humidity towards Sunday. We're dry during the day Saturday, but then Saturday night, early Sunday, some showers and storms. They become spotty and taper off. Monday, 84 with sunshine, and we will be into the mid-70s by next week. Back inside.